Hello and welcome to the channel viewers, Tenerife Tez here on the sunny island of Tenerife. Come and take a walk with me and let's see what we can find today. Currently on the upper deck or top of uh, the walkways at Fana Bay. Top of the walkways at Fana Bay. Turn around, let you have a look where I am. There's the moon and uh, Elliot Cow. Got a little bit of a uh, phrase around the top of the orange there. Phrase, phrase, something like that, isn't it? Have you eaten at the moon bar before? Let's see if we can catch the fish. Over there. Here we go. Let's see if we're. Uh... Yeah, look at that. Fresh fish. Pick one. To, can't get much fresher than that. Maybe if they've been caught today. So uh, plenty of shade as well available here. But, uh, we're going to walk down to the uh, next level. See what there is there. This is the uh, top end of the Spanglish bar. And the views from this it's actually in several levels. The views from this is absolutely stunning. But uh, we'll take a walk down the steps and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Look at the boats. People enjoying themselves over there. Moon restaurant, smoothies, cocktails, different types of uh, coffee. Oh, and a barraquito. One of my favourites. So, down we go. He can carry a lot of plates there. This uh, area doesn't have the kitchen. All the food comes from the uh, restaurant just at the bottom, which is the uh, Spanglish as well. So it's all part of the same group. Down we go again. So as you can make out, it's all on split levels, this. But each one of the split levels is accessible with wheelchairs, scooters, etc., etc. Passion flowers in bloom. Look at that. Nice, isn't it? So uh, there's always something in flower in Tenerife because of all the different seasons and stuff, I suppose. Microclimates, there's always uh, something. Don't know about the vines and stuff in there. Maybe they want a little bit of water, I don't know. But, uh, we're going to continue on further. And uh, more of the menus. But, uh, I'm not going to film the menus, I've done that before need to talk over the music a little bit here because uh, it's rather loud. What do you think of this area of the beach? And uh, forget your bucket and spade, why not have a big shovel? There you go. There's the uh, Spanglish as I said. And Winchester there. So uh, very, very popular and not forgetting it's Cheltenham week as well. You all right? Enjoying it? Are you betting? Yeah, I bet now, everybody's in here. Have you won? Well, up and down, like, but it's on a few days, so it's the last day of the day. Yeah, are you winning more than you're losing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. it's got to be right, hasn't it? It's part of the hundred as well, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the sun as well? It's, every time we come in to have a bed, the sun comes out. Well, that's a lucky sign, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. So, there you go. So, uh, nice to meet people, isn't it? What do you think, then, folk? Definitely winning. So, uh, doing something right, isn't he? Winchester Bar is a very, very popular bar. You need to give that one a go. But um, the food in there is good. 
but I'm sure you know that if you've been to this area before, you know exactly what I'm talking about with that. And uh, Daniel's drinks there and the seahorse. Definitely nice areas around here. But, uh, yeah. Doesn't tell you how much the beers and stuff are actually around here, but uh, they're all going to be affordable. Oh, it does. Ice cold beer there, San Miguel, 195. So that's near enough, isn't it? Uh, Maxicat.com. I suppose that's gone out to see the whales and such like. And dolphins. We'll take the uh, slope here. And uh, plenty of signage so you know exactly where you are. Which is good. So, I'm Tenerife Tez. I'd like to thank you for watching. 